What's up, Alchemist? I hope you guys are having a blessed and fantastic day. Let's tap into this reading. Please take the messages and the energy that closely resonates within your situation and leave what doesn't at Hell's Gates. Okay, my Alchemist, and don't forget, we stay cute, speak the truth, and transmute all negative energy. Ashe. What's up, Alchemist? Let's see what we've got going on in this reading. What's the message, please, Spirit? All right, Alchemist, so we have Valentine's Day out here. Something here could be happening within a month's time. Okay. We have they will expose themselves. We also have construction skip. And get this card that fell on the floor. Yeah, we have lies told to cover up corruption here, Alchemist. So something here could be coming out in February. If they will expose themselves. Someone could work in construction. Or this constru construction skip. I just said construct. Construct. Someone trying to construct something. Or constructive criticism could be significant here for someone. Someone may have tried to throw something away here in a construction skip. This may have something to do with a property. Someone may be doing renovations here on a property. Alright. We also have lies told to cover up corruption. Hmm. So you have ring the alarm here at the back of the deck, Alchemist. Let's pull some cards on this. See what we got going on. Late at night, between 11 to 2 a.m., 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. could be significant and someone will get life. So someone here could be in concern that something that they did here in the past is about to come out. So someone may just expose themselves to you. Someone may say something underhandedly and expose themselves to you. Okay. Look at this energy holy divine. That's the message. All right, Alchemist, we have child. For someone here, this could be a child that may speak some form of truth here to you. A young adult could be significant. Or this may have something to do with a child. Lies told, lies told to cover up some form of corruption here. Hmm. Someone could give birth to someone. Someone. Someone could give birth to a child in Valentine's in February. <laughs> okay. Alchemist. <laughs> we got wealthy man in that line on top of Valentine's Day. So I'm getting mixed energy here. Someone may approach you here around Valentine's Day. Someone may want to do something nice for you, okay, or with you. This person may have a child, or someone may want to gift you a child. I mean, that sounds a bit, I'll tell you, there's a bit of expectation at the back of the deck. All right, so let me get serious. <laughs> you need someone to be Thank you. All right, we got family room here, Alchemist. An occupation on top of wealthy man. Hmm. This is almost giving me the energy that I tapped into in yesterday's reading about a death of a minor being covered up. Corrupt officials being involved in this here. With this occupation land on top of wealthy man. Someone who owns a construction construction agency could be significant. Hmm. Like a contractor could also be significant here. Family room, a family man. Something involving manners. All right, two energies here, Alchemist. I'm going to clarify with the tarot deck. It's just energy, holy divine. So we have poverty here, Alchemist. And I'm on top of child. Wow. 
coughing here at the back of the deck. Someone here is going to receive some form of payment here for a child. Or for someone here, there could have been something that was left to you when you were a child that was taken here from you by a family. This family could have worked with a wealthy man here to steal something from you. This person here could be a lawyer. Someone who's financially well off. Mm. Alchemist, there's a lot of energy coming through in this reading right now. For someone here, this wealthy man could be your biological father. Someone who is well off. And it could be a case here of maybe someone's biological father may expose themselves to you or may reveal themselves to you here. This could have been something that was kept hidden from you by your family. Maybe people in your family didn't want you to know who your biological father was. Or someone here could have even been lied to about a child. Maybe someone was told here that they didn't have a child. Hmm. Someone here is worried that they're going to be in poverty. I'm also getting with this energy here, Alchemist. It's, it's like from rags to riches is what I'm hearing. Maybe you grew up in a family here that was in poverty. And something here is about to change here for you. Okay, we've got a mature man on top of wealthy man. I'm going to use the tarot deck to clarify this energy here, Alchemist, out on the table. Let's just see what else we've got going on. Something here about a mature man having connections here to a wealthy man. Like I said, Alchemist, there's multiple energies in this reading, so just take what resonates with you. Mm -mm. But a mature man having connections here to a wealthy man. Something about these individuals here having connections to minors or ill intentions here with minors. We got unexpected income here, Alchemist. So like I'm saying here, for someone it's about to be from rags to riches. Someone's about to receive something. This could be something that may be coming from a wealthy man here. For someone, this could be your biological father that may want to reveal to you here who they are to you. Or I'm also picking up something will be coming to you here. Something that you're not expecting. Unexpected income from an unexpected source. All right, we've got community. I just flipped out with ease. So I'm picking up a community of individuals involved in lies to cover up some form of corruption involving a child and involving something to do with unexpected income here being received. We've got privileged lady here at the back of the deck. And you know what movie I'm channeling right now here, Alchemist? The Princess Diaries. And also, I forgot what it's called, but there was a movie where a girl, she was living in America. I believe she was living in New York. It's not The Princess Diaries, it's another one. Let me see if I can Google it. And, um, her dad was like a ari aristocrat or something like that. He was very well off. And he brought her to London to basically like show her a different side of life. Her mum was like a single mum. Her mum didn't really reveal to her who her father was until he got in communication with her. Let me see if I can Google it. I think it came out in like 2000 or 2004. Uh, American girl finds out her father is wealthy British movie. Aha, uh -huh, that's it, Alchemist. What a girl wants. I'm not sure if you can remember this movie. When did this come out? 2003, close enough. <laughs> Do you remember this movie? Let me see if I can zoom in. Amanda Bynes. Oh my days. This is old. Yes. Trying to fit in, born to stand out. This is what is really giving me here at Alchemist. For someone here, maybe you grew up as a child always trying to fit in. But the divine is saying you were always born to stand out. Privileged lady. 
It could be a case of people here in your family didn't want you to know that you were a privileged lady. Maybe you had many people that were constantly trying to dim your light here. But you were always born to stand out. Something was hidden from you. This pertained to the identity here of your biological father. Mm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And you've got a house right after that. Someone may want to invite you over to their home. Or someone here could have even left you a home in some cases here, Alchemist. Multiple energies. Something here about your pathway. What else is there? Thank you. Alright, so we've got Bad Health, Alchemist, and that land on top of Family Room. So there could be someone here in your family that's in bad health at this time. This could be a mature man. For some of you, this person could be a stepfather. An uncle could also be significant or an older gentleman here in a family. Hmm. Someone's in their thoughts here about a main female at this time. And we also have marriage here, alchemists. So there's multiple energies in this. Someone is looking at you as some form of prospect here. When it comes to future endeavours, someone here may want to propose to you. I don't know if you know who this person is, Alchemist. I'm telling you, with the courthouse right after that. Or someone here may have to go to court here to receive something in the distant horizons. Something was held back from you. Someone wants to give something to you. Someone left some form of gift to you. Someone will be communicating with you here. Take the energy how it resonates, Alchemist. They're strongly giving their energy here for someone. You're about to go from rags to riches. Peace for it. Yeah, Alchemist. Dun dun dun. Sudden wealth. What's this card? Oh, we got coffin out here in reverse. So someone may even be passing away, or someone could have recently passed away with this energy. For someone here, you have someone in your family that passed away here in the past. This person here being a wealthy man, someone left something for you when you were a child. Something here that you were supposed to receive when you reach a certain age. 18 could be very significant here for someone. So someone who is no longer here with us left you some form of unexpected income, some form of sudden wealth. And you could have had people in your family that were involved in keeping this here from you. Lies told to cover up corruption. So many people who had illegal dealings in hiding something here from you and then lying to cover up what they had done against you. So this is where this community of individuals come into play. Courthouse. There could be multiple individuals here in concern and worried that whatever they did here in the past against you as a child is about to come to light. Yeah. Main female courthouse. So someone here you're going to have to go to court here in the distant horizons. But there could be some form of communications coming to you here from the court in the distant horizons. I'm also picking up someone here may not have long with this bad health. Someone may make a deathbed confession here about what they had their hand in doing. Someone here being forced to confess. Let's get some extra clarification here, Alchemist, with the tarot deck. Divine, what's in this energy, please? Mm. So we got the Three of Cups out here in Reverse Alchemist. An unhappy ending here for someone. This also signifies gossiping and bitchiness. So I do feel like you've had multiple individuals here speaking ill of you, family, or community of individuals who were speaking ill of you, taking advantage of others here in harmful excess. I'm also getting a masculine here that's been taking advantage of minors here in harmful excess. So this person that is in bad health right now could even be someone that's involved in taking advantage of minors. Someone who does something consistently, overindulges here in taking advantage of other people. Someone who lacks any form of self-control. Hmm. So I'm picking up here, Alchemist. You've had people here in your family who know of you who knew who you truly were, who knew the truth you were about your biological father or something here that was left to you. And it almost feels like it rubs these individuals the wrong way that you were blessed and favoured. 
that someone highly adored you, that someone wanted you to be straight. So they left you something here to make sure you were straight. So you had many people coming up against you because they were jealous of you and what was left to you and who you truly are. But ask your spirit, look at that. <laughs> Magician here, alchemist, and is right here in the middle. Someone here tried to block you here from finding out something. I'm also picking up with this here. People could have been doing spell work to affect your memory since you were a child. Someone not wanting you to remember something here. Seven of Pentacles at the back of the deck here, Alchemist. This signifies inheritances. Maybe there could be someone here you met in the past. This could be an older man. Someone trying to make you forget about someone that you once knew. You could have been really young when you met this person, but I feel like this is someone that was very fond of you. So this person wanted to make sure when they were no longer here, you would be okay. But someone's been doing something here in terms of magic to confuffle your mind. Also with the three of cups out here in reverse, gossiping and bitchiness, this signifies word magic. So people casting a lot of illusions here over your life since you were a child. Gift of the gab type of energy. There could be a mature man here who had the gift of the gab. Maybe when this person spoke ill of you or tried to convince others to work against you, this person allowed other people. No, whatever this person was saying caused other people to believe them because they have the gift of the gab. And yeah, well, their gift of the gab ain't working for them no more. Now oh, they're sick to the gab. <laughs> <coughs> Well, I say, yo, now they sick to the gab, death. There's an ending here coming, alchemist. Someone here may be passing away. Well, someone here has passed away, but I'm picking up present energy. Someone will be crossing over soon with this bad health energy, and someone has already crossed over and left you something. Someone here may want to make right on what they did wrong to you on the deathbed here someone may confess see just as i said that my voice just broke their alchemist so it's like someone wants to speak their truth but they're breaking or someone's reaching their breaking point because they know if they don't speak their truth or make right on something here well i don't know if this person already knows where they're going it's like someone wants to be granted access here into the afterlife but something here will be blocked for this individual Hmm. sudden endings here someone could already be in the process of transitioning i also feel like here alchemist you had people that were trying to put some form of death and ending here to you using spell work and something it hasn't worked and this is all because of an inheritance that was left to you here so someone will expose themselves thank you spirit yeah, I'll commit. So you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Someone here wanted you to be independent, not wanting you to want for anything. So they set up something here for you. Someone made some form of investment here that was going to work here in your favour in the future for you. Wealth, property, stability. Something here about property also being significant. I'm telling you the Seven of Pentacles here, I'll commit, but something was kept back from you. And it feels like someone has been indulging in your pentacles. Someone has been indulging in what was left to you. Mm. You've got the page of swords here, alchemist. The late news, patience needed. Some form of communication here coming towards you here. A Gemini could be significant here in this energy. Okay, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune at the back of the deck. So there's a fated event here that's taking place, Alchemist. It feels like everything that's unraveling and unfolding here at this time is a fated event. Something was supposed to happen in the way that it's happening. Eight of Wands right after that. Returning from travel and this also signifies theft. Someone stole something from you. And it feels like it was fated for this person to do what they did. Because something here is going to be made right either way. Something here is delayed at this time. Someone may be thinking about what to say to you or how to communicate their truth here to you. Yeah. 
Moon card out there in reverse, Alchemist, unveiling secrets. In the upright, this signifies illusions. I feel like since you were a child, many individuals were casting illusions about who you truly were or the identity of your biological parent. Someone was hiding this here from you. In reverse, this signifies illusions being broken and the truth here being revealed. Mm. So someone's about to find out something here. Yeah, how come we got the star? A shining star illuminating. I'm also getting celestial star. Something here very different about you. Someone saw something within you here in their time here on this realm. And I feel like you have people also watching you here from above, seeing everything that you have gone through and how you have matured here into the person that you are today. Definitely getting the energy here of a past over loved one, being very proud of you, of your strength, of your resilience, of your growth, of your maturity. It feels like when this person was alive, they saw your strength, your growth, your maturity. Someone saw that you were bright, like a star. Someone could have called you their star when you were younger. My shining star. That could be significant here to someone. Or someone may have even told you when you were younger that you were going to be a star. You're always destined for greatness. You're always destined for abundance. Someone saw the best in you here. It's like other people didn't want you to see the best in yourself because they were jealous about your light. Yeah, alchemist. Eight of pentacles. Someone's been working very hard to do something here. So for someone, take the energy how it resonates because there's multiple scenarios in this reading. You could have had someone here that passed over. For some of you, this could be a biological father that left you some form of gift, some form of inheritance. Someone works very hard to make sure that when they were no longer here, you would be straight. And you had people here who didn't want you to find out about this. In another scenario, I'm picking up for someone here, your biological father may still be alive. And this person here is only just finding out about you. Now, someone here is working very hard here to connect with you. Someone wants to do something here for you. Someone wants to make right on the time that they didn't have with you. Someone may be in bad health at this time. This could be why something here is delayed. Mm. In another case here, Alchemist, people here in your family intercepting something here that was left to you. Something about your identity is also very significant. That was up. Thank you. All right. I'm telling you, we've got the King of Pentacles, wealthy man. This is someone that sits on top of finances here. Yeah, Alchemist, I can't make it up. Ten of Pentacles out here in reverse. Someone left you something big. A Taurus could be very significant. Someone who worked very hard. A grandfather could also be significant here, Alchemist. I'm speaking truth. You've got the High Priestess with the Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you could be someone that's highly intuitive. Someone knew you were different from when you were younger. Your difference is key. Someone saw something in you here. Someone here could have had a grandfather that passed away. This person here could have been a Taurus. Or a sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant. Or this could be your sign. Take the energy. How it resonates here, Alchemist. But this is someone who was very good with their money. Someone who had a lot of endeavours here. A lot of businesses. Yeah, someone here, you're about to receive something that's been held back from you, something that was always due to you. Because you had many people around you that were casting illusions about who you were. And I also feel like you had people casting illusions about who your biological father was here. This is related to a masculine, strong in this energy here. So for someone here, your family or your mother could have told you someone else was your biological father. But this was done to cast an illusion here over you so you wouldn't find out who your real biological father is. Someone here could have gone along with this because they were receiving a cut out of casting an illusion here over you. It's like maybe someone here now feels guilty for going along with a lie to cover up corruption. 
someone knows that they deceived you, deceived you for many years, and this person could now be in bad health as a result of them deceiving you. A lot of deception going on in this energy, and someone now wants to make right before their time comes for them to come to an end. Wow, this is deep, y'all. One more card, Holy Divine. Thank you. Nine of Cups here, Alchemist, Wish Fulfillment. Something here is coming in. Wow, this is powerful energy here with the Magician card here as well. For some of you, you're a powerful manifester. You may have the gift of sight. You may have the gift of prophecy. You're able to call in whatever you wish, whatever you desire. And it feels like you had multiple individuals trying to block your wishes, trying to block your wish fulfillment. People wanted to keep you in a state of poverty. They never wanted you to go and excel. They wanted you to have a lack mind. And I feel like they wanted you to have a lack mind because they each within themselves have a lack mind. Crabs, crabs, <laughs> crabs in the bucket mentality. It almost sounds like scrubs. So someone could wear um scrubs. Someone here could be a nurse. Or some of here could be in a hospice. Wishes coming true. Something that you were always destined on. And I'm hearing that song. Wishing on a star. Mm, to find out where you are. So someone's trying to find where you are, Alchemist. Someone's wishing on a star. That they would get to speak their truth to you. I like this. Ooh, come on. Come on, y'all. I'm telling you. Earth Angel. Balance here is being restored in a situation, but patience here is needed. I do strongly feel here, Alchemist, some form of communication will be coming towards you. Someone's been holding something back here from you, your family, a community of individuals here. This has something to do with your identity. This has something to do with something that was left to you. This also has something to do with the identity here of your biological parent. And this has something to do with a father figure. Someone's definitely looking for someone here, Alchemist. I'm telling you, just spit the deck there on the Ten of Pentacles. So something here you don't see coming is about to come to you. Balance here has been restored in a situation. You know, these are people here in your family and in the community that were casting illusions about who you truly were. I feel like there could even be people in the community that are now seeing the truth about who you were. Maybe there's people that listen to your family. The whole time your family were against you. Maybe these people in your family were people who were seen in high honour within their community. So maybe people wouldn't have thought twice, like, why would they have to lie about this child? But they had every reason to lie about you because they had agendas when it came to you. And this had something here to do with money. Yeah. It's very sad within these last couple of years. And for some of you guys, over 20 years, you probably realised the extent that people would go to here just for money. They say money is the root of all evil, but it's truly the mind of that individual. When people are faced with decisions when it comes to money, you will see the most monstrous, monstrous, <laughs> my goodness, what's going on with my speech today, y'all? Monstrous side of humans, evil side of humans, the most wicked side of humans when money comes into play. When money comes into play with the mind of someone whose mind is already corrupt and fucked, all morals go out of the way. All integrity go out of the way. These people lack any form of morals and integrity. They'll do the worst to you just to receive something here. And in some cases here, Alchemist, these people could have even tried to plot your death. Rituals here to try and put a death in any to you. For some of you, this could be family members that were doing death rituals on you since you were a child. And now people are starting to realise here, you are the star. You are anointed. You are favoured. You are blessed. You must not be touched and you are never supposed to be touched. You are an earth angel. You have a mission here on this purpose. You have a mission here on this realm. You have a purpose here. Yo. Maybe someone doesn't know what to say. Someone could be tripping over their speech, yo. But someone, if your biological father has been keeping tabs on you here, maybe this person doesn't know what to say when they come towards you. Someone may stumble over their words. Like someone's just me mesmerized by you, mesmerized by your light mesmerized by your beauty mesmerized by your intelligence like someone you know that spiritual connection you have with someone like a deep inner knowing someone just knows maybe because this person is also intelligent maybe because this person is also charming beautiful wise smart 
this person is seeing all the qualities in them in you. So someone here intuitively knows that they are your biological father. In the cases that your biological father is still alive. But I also feel like for someone here who's no longer here with you, they saw your beauty inside and out. They saw your soul. Even those around you who were trying to mock your soul. Even those around you who were trying to sacrifice your soul. Someone saw the best in you. And I'm also picking up your alchemist. You have someone who's no longer here with you that is watching over you, guarding you, shielding you, protecting you. You have a guardian angel. For someone here, this is a grandfather. Others of you, this could be a biological father. An uncle could also be significant here for someone. Or a mature man, an older gentleman. This is crazy. I, mean, I just put the deck down the high priestess. Definitely a gifted child. I'm seeing someone sitting in a chair here watching you as a child. Like like this. Just as I'm sitting there. Like this. Like a very oh, like a very old mature pose. Like and their eyes, they're squinting their eyes. They're watching you. They could have been watching you play with your toys here as a child or watching you even talk to yourself. Maybe you talk to yourself a lot as a child. Or maybe you were very outspoken as a child. But someone's sitting there watching you, they're squinting their eyes and they're saying that's a very gifted child. And they're nodding their head. That's a very gifted child. Someone saw something in you. And it feels like other people saw this in you, but they envied you. They envied you because of your gifts. They envied you because of your abilities. <sighs> yeah, I'll commit. So balance here is about to be restored. Spit the deck there on justice out here in reverse. Some form of injustice was done to you. A lot of corruption here that went on with a family and community of individuals and this was all behind money money here that was left to you in some cases here alchemist you have confirmation spit the deck down the ten of pentacles there could be people here with the someone will get life that will be doing time here in, in prison for this plot and scheme they had against your life to take you out it feels like these people knew they couldn't take you out here with spell work so they could have then conjured up a plan to try and take you out physically, sending people to come towards you. Three of Cups out there in reverse. Could have been sending fake friends to come towards you, fake lovers to come towards you. Some of these individuals could have taken bribes here to poison you, putting things here in your food, waiting for something here to happen to you. Like you've gone through a lot, all in the name of money. It's really sad, y'all. And whoever your spirit guardian is, they've watched you suffer for many years as a result of these individuals that they left you in the hands of. And for some of you, if your biological father is still alive, this person is now realising that the people that have been, you know, were supposed to be taking care of you, they've messed you around. They've done the worst to you. And it almost feels like this person's breaking. You see how I was stumbling over my words earlier on, not knowing how to say something. Like someone feels bad for not being there for you, for not protecting you. Like it feels like this person would have done anything for you had they really known about you then. But something was hidden from them, just as something was hidden from you. So your mother definitely pulled a fast one on someone and she also tried to pull a fast one on you. She definitely karmic. Yeah, Ace of Cups, your alchemist, new beginnings here in love. For someone here, you got many, many things here coming into you. Wish fulfillment, a love offer. You may be reuniting here with a biological father, or you may even be coming into union here with your divine counterpart. There's balance here being restored in every areas of your life. What people didn't want you to have, you're going to have. What people wanted you to lack, you're going to receive. What people wanted to take from you, you're going to get back. That's where we are right now, Alchemist. Anything that was holding, anything that was held back from you is about to be returned to you. <laughs> holding. Oh my days. Some of them could be holding. Some of them could be holding. All right, Alchemist. Let's get these specifics. We'll close this up. Your 11, Divine Justice is at play here in this situation. Alchemist, connect with the divine 909 and be more selfless. 2244, you're on the right path, okay? Ticking time bomb. And we got Ghanaian. 
Their fate was sealed when they made the contract. We got the matriarch, so a mother figure is very significant. I feel like for some of you, your mother figure has lied for, for many years. Like this person wanted to keep you in an illusion deliberately. Maybe your father didn't want to be with them, so they thought they were going to mess you up as a result of this. This person could have abused you. This person could have allowed other people to abuse you. Like this is someone, they come across as very vindictive and manipulative. A very callous individual here who only thinks about themselves. This could be a mother figure that projected all their insecurities onto you. This person could have grown up calling you selfish, cold-hearted and evil. But this is someone who was just saying everything that they saw within themselves onto you. Someone wanted you to feel how they felt about themselves about you. They wanted you to feel just how they felt about themselves. Yeah. And that's not who you are, Alchemist. And we've got church folk in Caribbean. Someone here could have grown up in the Caribbean church. We got immigrant. Nissan, sinister plot and intentions, IT engineer, nail technician, and 1619 alchemist, cleanse your space, cleanse your mind. We got caution that fell out here on the floor, and the ex lover. We got African American here, alchemist. 1155 changes are approaching, and we got green eyes. Bentley, Space Grey Car, 1313 Welcoming Growth, we got North and South, Mini Cooper and East, someone could live on the South or live in the South, Dallas could be significant here for someone, East Side or East London could be significant, Passed Over, O202 Alchemist, Chase Your Dreams, We got a social worker, Italian, fiance or fiance. So someone may be getting proposed to this year. We got the patriarch, right on top of sinister plot and intentions, father or father figure. We got Range Rover here, alchemist. Smart car, African, 999, release what no longer serves you, or someone here needs to release something. That is not for them. This could be some form of document or someone needs to speak their truth. Yeah, we got admin. A healthcare worker. Associates of a friend. 1212 Alchemist, content not within life. All right, look out for the signs and synchronicities. And we got Irish. Dreads or locks. Neck tattoo. 3838 38 alchemists utilize your ability so for some of you guys you may be high priestesses or a high priest you could be someone that's highly intuitive in some rare cases here maybe the people you you've grown up around maybe you didn't feel any form of soul connection to them our soul family is very different from the family that we're born into or some of us the family that we're given to Someone here feels a soul connection with you and for others of you, you're going to be connecting more of your soul family, your soul tribe within this year. You're going to be connecting with more like-minded people, people who see your soul and not people who are looking at you on a surface level. Alright, a a a alchemist abundance is at your gate. Whatever was taken from you is coming right back. Okay, we've got a gym instructor, personal trainer and South African. 1010, oh no, 0101, reading upside down. <laughs> Take note of your dreams. But someone here, your father may be from a different country as your mother here. All right, we got Audi. 666, realign your thoughts. 321, alchemist, a new path begins. Okay, one, two, three, four, new beginners at your door. We got likes, animals. 2020 stay focused we've got forward and long nails 64 64 you're about to discover your purpose all right we've got a tag team 14 14 alchemist important decision ahead so someone may invite you out on this with this valentine's day someone may want to do something nice for you here okay maybe you're gonna have to make a decision here alchemist or for someone you may be reuniting with someone all right important decisions ahead here 11 44 your efforts will soon pay off Oh, we got sudden fatality here for someone. We got a smear campaign. 
So this could be people here that were smearing your name after they lied to you, after they deceived you, and after they stole from you. You could have just had many individuals here who were just angry about who you were, angry about your light, angry that you are a star. You were always destined to be a star. This could be ex-friends here, people here from your past. Like, it's like people just resented you for you. I don't feel like he did anything to these people here, Alchemist, but when people don't heal, they just project outside of themselves. What they don't like about themselves, they want to put it onto you. It's like many people wanted you to feel less about yourself. They wanted to devalue you here. Because internally, I feel like this is how many of these individuals feel. These could be individuals that feel like if they, um, what's the word, have money and the nice cars and all of this, they come in a group of individuals who are just like-minded but really and truly they may be like-minded but they're all lack-minded these people feel like if they have money finances it's going to heal whatever they have gone through none of these people have done the true healing work they just feel like if they receive money take from other people lie on other people deceive other people manipulate other people it will make them feel better about themselves like people who have been bullied that now become bullies is the energy it's given me these individuals that came up against you, they could have gone through some form of childhood abuse within their lifetime that they did not heal from. And when they came across you, something about your light just ticked these people off. So they wanted to basically project all the abuse that they had gone through onto you. They wanted you to feel less about yourself in a way to make them feel better about themselves. They wanted to take from you because they felt like you weren't deserving of what was given to you. But you were always deserving. These people did not want you to feel like that. So whoever's been out here smearing your name, and we did have magic out there, so someone could have even tried to do a death ritual on you. This doesn't just have to be people in your family. This could be people you met across your path. For some of you, this could be someone here from your past. Or if this is someone that took payment here to drug you, to poison you, something could be happening to this individual. Yeah. People aren't going to tell the truth to other people about what they really did because they don't want people looking at them in a certain type of way. But they don't care for other people to look at you in a certain type of way. Narcissist. And whoever I'm speaking to, Alchemist, I strongly feel like you're an empath. A highly intuitive empath. You pick up on the emotions and feelings of people. When people are heavily projecting their own fears and insecurity onto you, you pick it up immediately. And you've had many individuals who've grown up with so many people, even new people you meet on your path. They, they pretend to like you, but really and truly, your light irritates their demon because you're different from them. So they want to devalue you and they put you down. They want to harm you. Yeah. Whoever's been involved in doing this, whether they were family or whoever, alchemists, they're going to reap what they sold against you. You are highly protected. Okay. You also have, have faith in yourself here, alchemists, and we got a scientist. There could be a sudden fatality here for a scientist for someone. I will tap into this in another message. There could have been someone that was doing illegal experiments here on you. Could be people in your family that knew that you were being experimented on. And you know what I'm picking up here, alchemist? It's like someone has been doing something consistently just to see what your bro your breaking point is. Like they, they sh oh. See, you're mind blocked just an alchemist. We're going to tap into another message here. I feel like someone has been doing something to you or even paying people around you to do things to you just to see what your breaking point is. Someone has been testing on you. It's like someone testing your, your mind, your mental intelligence, your emotional intelligence. But they've been doing this secretly. And there could even be people around you that were taking payments to deliberately fuck with you. Yeah, whoever this self-entitled person is that feel like they can go around experimenting on people just because they, they, they're they weird. Definitely someone with a, a god complex here. You've got hell to pay, Alchemy. That's one for four, your path is hard because your calling is higher. That's why you've come across a lot of weird fucks. Yeah, we've got Lexus. An 1188 Alchemist grasp every opportunity. Alright, we've got a stepsister. Herbalist. Stolen or hidden assets that we've got German. Grey eyes. Congolese. They will reap what they sold against you. You are unemployed. So people could be losing their jobs, employments here. For some of you, if this is people from your past that were lying to other people about who you were, all the people that worked with them, they're taking losses as a result of them working to attack you because of these individuals. 
telling you, you got to be careful who you listen to. Many people are lying on people's names just because they were even rejected. They couldn't have their way with them. You should never go around attacking anybody, especially because of a man or a woman. Someone here could have just been jealous of you here, Rakhmes, but that don't justify anyone fucking attacking you. Just, it doesn't. People need to learn to heal themselves. And when people don't check themselves, they will be checked. And many of these individuals are being checked by the Holy Divine, I'm telling you. They're also being checked by your ancestors for the sheer audacity that they had to even come against you. See, when people roam in packs here, they're all enabling each other with their toxicity. Oh yeah, yeah, do that to her, do that to him, say that to her, say that to him. They're all toxic, birds of the feather flock together. All enabling each other's actions here until their actions catch up to them. And now it is catching up to them. They will reap what they sold against you. Many of these individuals have accumulated a lot of karma for all the lies they told against you. All the plots and schemes they made against your life. Yeah. Your influencer must atone for their sins. Mm -hmm. Tinted windows. You got Jamaican and 222 Alchemist. You're going for a powerful spiritual goal. All right. You got a lawyer. Where's a cap or a hat? Works in a bank. Braids or twists. We got artist, musician, or rapper. Could be an artist, musician, or rapper that may be passing away here. Reincarnated to redeem themselves, but instead doom themselves. Yeah. People need to be careful with what they do with their life when they have their life. Because I'm picking up the energy of many individuals who are quite young here. Even people in their 40s is quite young to pass away or 50s. Because of the actions that they have taken against other people here on this round, they will be going. Yeah. 188 Alchemist, take a leap of faith. You will land safely. We got Silver Car. 155, detach from the situation, judgment call. We got works of legal documents, Citrian. Works from home. Okay, we got West. 414 Alchemist, strong foundation. Step brother. You got a Kia in your area code. For some of you, if you have a biological father that's still alive, you could have siblings on your father's side that may already know of you. East African. Maybe these people aren't too happy about, you know, your existence as well. Oh, you're going to tap into that another reading. One on one alchemist, a new journey, time to prepare, trust the universe. You could have had distant relatives here that have also been attacking you because they're jealous of you. Oh, this is madness. Courier service alchemist. 16, 16, wipe your goal for changes ahead. Hi and die. You could have family that live in another country here or another state. Somebody in their 30s. All right, we've got foot tattoo. Volkswagen sleeve tattoo. Office. We've got mixed breed facing judgment. 511 Alchemist, something is set in stone for you. Seven Eleven, something new is set in stone for you, and that's a fresh start. From rags to riches, all right, we've got altered documents. Someone between the ages of 45 to 59. Hazel Eyes. 444 Alchemist, divine protection. You are highly protected. So do you have people in your family here that were trying to make it seem like you were some form of demonic child? Upon all the death rituals these people have do been doing on you from year to year, from year, from year. These individuals that were working with them to do these rituals are now seeing you are highly favoured and anointed. Because these people know something would have already been happened to you if you really were a demonic child. You weren't who these people were trying to make you out to be. They were only trying to make you out to be this demon here alchemists because they were projecting their own false insecurities and their dark spirits onto you some of these individuals were literally casting dark spirits onto you spirit of lust spirit of addiction spirit of doubt spirit of confusion spirit of misfortune they were putting all their demons onto you and then they were having people come and be like oh look 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 at look at them they're demonic but they're doing things behind the scenes to manipulate your mind abusing you mental abuse physical abuse emotional abuse they won't tell the world who they truly are and what they've been doing, but they didn't care to basically blast you out to the world and make you out to be a false person. 
For some of you, the divine is about to put you in a position where you are going to be able to speak your truth to the world. So all the lies these people told upon you from years upon years, they're going to be exposed. You are actively being vindicated. 11, divine justice is at play. These people spoke ill of a child of God by trying to make it seem like you were a spawn of Satan. Because these people did not want to face who they truly were. But now judgment is here. They are about to face everything that they have done against you. Everything that they have done against you. Everyone who had a part to play in this. Divine justice is at play. Let's get these last few cards out and this will close us up. So you got fake friends out here and deceitful. Some of these people may have been cloned, y'all. Yeah, because it's really giving me the energy of people who've just been cloned. Like, it's like, how do people not see how they're behaving and the way that their behavior affects other people? I'm telling you, and if that, I'm going to tap into another, in another reading with this experiment that's been going on here. All right, you got in plain sight, manipulator, mm -hmm. and social media stalker. Someone here was trying to manipulate you, but they were hiding this in plain sight. And I feel like you've had many individuals that try to manipulate you purposely. It's almost like someone has been coaching people in your life on how to move with you strategically move with you here yeah we got review here alchemist someone's been watching all your moves this could be fake friends here from your past break up someone here wants to say i'm sorry 555 five, five. alchemist changes are ahead we've got reflect it's like many people are now being forced to reflect about who they truly are because they're all too busy looking at you and casting their stones upon you yeah Illusions here welcome me see through the veil about these people who are deceitful. For some of you may have already seen this. Mm -hmm. Separation, you've separated yourself from these individuals, whether they're family members, fake friends, people here from your past, people who were not serving your highest good, people who just wanted to bring you down, crabs in a bucket mentality, because they're all stuck in that bucket. They didn't want to grow, they wanted to pull you down with them. But guess what? You're kicking the bucket. Or someone may really be kicking the bucket and, you know... Beep, flat line. Mm -hmm. Toxic family alchemist, divine justice is at play here on a toxic family. Mm -hmm. You got what's your dreams here, alchemist? Initials R, N, and J, first, middle, or last. There could be people here in your family that are trying to show up in your dreams. The name Rio could also be significant. Stop fucking playing around in people's dream state. Ugh, that's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man. I was someone saying, what the fuck? Yo, yeah, sorry. There's a guy called Rio and he's a Leo. That's been playing around in my dream state. I just said it in that, oh yeah, that's sometimes my ability to be spooking me out. <laughs> yeah, stop playing around in my dream state. Oh, I'll read the dream that download I had in the the thingy because it's on my other phone. You ain't selling no packs. No packs are gonna be selling for you, and that's your karma for all the shit you were doing to me, you punk. We got release. Alright. Some of them could be Jordan or Joel. 222 Alchemist, you're on a life path alignment. Alright. You've got people here watching you from a fake page. Watch your dreams are very significant. Because you've got a lot of motherfuckers playing here. You could even have fake friends that are popping up in your dream state. Many people are actively trying to get close to you at this time. Because they see in you're the star that you were shining. But these are the very same people that were trying to dim your light. Speak heal of you here. Throw dirt on your name. And people who literally try to bury you. Yeah. Now they want to be in your energy, Alchemist, because you're healing. For many of you, you're a healer. You can have people that are trying to get back into your energy because they need your healing essence. They want you to heal them from their own toxicity. It don't work like that. These are the very same people that try to destroy you. All right, you've got your job here, Alchemist. And victories ahead. For someone, you could be getting a new job or there may be something here that you're doing that's going to take off for you. Something's going to blow for you. You are in your life path alignment. Or whatever you do for work here at this time, for some of you alchemists, this is a part of your life path alignment. Or you could have a Leo here in your family. 
or a distant relative that's a Leo that's been playing around in your energy. Yeah, what I say? Jealous. Look on the bright side here, Ralph, and then see how many people that are jealous of you. Yeah, but you are protected here. That's come out here twice from this toxic family. Whether it's distant relatives here, people that you don't even know of, fake friends, you're protected, Alchemist. And I feel like many people are even jealous about your protection. Mm -hmm. We got a letter from Mount here, Alchemist. Lost. Old keys were opening new doors. Incoming call or message. Someone here could have been holding on to some form of important document here that was left to you. Lost mail. You could have lost mail recently. All right, we got hidden messages. Initials P, S, C, and J, first, middle, or last. The name Johnson could be significant. We got set up. Cornelius or Cornelia could be significant. We got walk away. Fake news. Someone here wants to pull up on you. We've got clean your space here, Alchemist. Initials W, G, and M, first, middle, or last. We've got leave the past behind. Someone wants to right their wrongs. Something is closer than you think here, Alchemist. We've got a joke. Many individuals who thought you were a joke, and your joke's on them. Mm -hmm. You've got conflict. You deserve better. And we've got Aries. You could be an Aries, or this is an Aries that was involved in trying to set you up. Mm. Someone's name could be Gigi. William or Will, Michelle, we got a child that just fell like out here on the floor. Monica, someone here feels empty inside. We got third party blocked. You could have also had a third party here that was trying to harm you. This this could be because of a man that was out here lying on your name. Yeah, this person's been blocked out of your energy and the idiot that was lying on your name to row this person up like a, a, a lap dog or a leap dog whatever i'm doing all of that nonsense because of a man that's it's so embarrassing to see females move like this i'm telling you so embarrassing good intentions here alchemist all right you got a gemini you could be a gemini this is a gemini that's involved in this stressed Remain positive, alchemist. Something is closer than you think. And you've got to forgive. I feel like you have people here that are seeking your forgiveness because they see the truth about who you really are. Yes. These people are realising that they were lied to by the people that they were once involved with. You see, the same illusions these people tried to cast on you as a child was the same illusions they were casting upon other people. It almost feels like people in your family were even casting spells on people around them just to like tamper with their minds so that they would believe them. But now some form of spell has been broken, Alchemist. And this is coming from you being in your life path alignment. This is coming from you speaking your truth. And this is coming from you just being who you really are and not what people made you out to be. It's like many people didn't even give you a chance for you to be yourself. Because you had many people that were trying to stop you from being yourself. They wanted you to be something you completely weren't. If these are people here that were going around making it seem like you were loose and easy... You had people that were casting spirit of lust upon you, sending men or feminines that were only going to keep you trapped in that state here. It wasn't even you. It's like you've been in some form of spiritual coma for many years because you had people that were tampering with your will, people that were trying to alter your destiny. They tried to take you out of alignment with the divine and stop you from being who you truly were. Telling you there's serious sanctions for what these people have done. And it's why I strongly feel like many people are now trying to seek forgiveness from you. Because they know they had their involvement in bringing harm to you. There's going to be sanctions and karma that's also going to fall upon them. For believing these individuals, I'm telling you. It's, it's law. These people here that came up against you, they did not use their discernment when it came to you. Some of these people knew you since you were a child. But they didn't know you well enough, alchemists, to have all this doubt that was casted over you and just believe it. You had a big cloud of doubt and judgment that was put on you. False judgments, false accusations, false lies. Many people here just smearing your name because they wanted to hide who they truly were from the world. But now the world is seeing you. And for some of you alchemists, the world really is going to see you. Whatever you do here is about to take off for you. It's going to prosper. It's going to prosper. 
in the mighty name of God, Alchemist, I'm telling you now, I feel shivers in my spirit. I feel shivers and I'm getting goosebumps. Everything you put your mind to, everything you are destined to do here on this realm is going to prosper because it was always meant for you to prosper. It was always meant for you to rise. It was always meant for you to be a star. It was always meant for you to make a change here on this realm and you're doing it. And if no one's told you today, Alchemist, I am proud of you. I am grateful for you. I am happy for your existence. I am grateful for your existence. You deserve to be here. You deserve to be alive. You deserve every great thing that comes into your life, that is coming into your life. And you deserve every amazing thing, Alchemist, that was always destined for you. You deserve it. You are worthy of it. You always were. Yes. All right, we got unexpected visitor alchemist and make a decision. All right, we got a Capricorn. We could be a Capricorn, is a Capricorn involved in this? All right, sexual health here, SEVSDI. Something here was delayed alchemist and we got wrong way. So there could be someone that's trying to pull up on you here, alchemist. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like this energy. Someone who's gone the wrong way. This could be someone here from your past that's been blocked out of your energy. That's trying to get back into your space here. I'll be mindful. I'll be mindful of anyone here from your past. These last two days, Alchemist, even today, Karmic Mother tried to ring me, didn't answer. Yesterday, there's a woman that married into, uh, like, a married a distant relative in the family. Let me keep it real with you. One of the men that my comic mother lied to and claimed that he was my biological father. There's a woman that married him. He knows he's not my biological father. The man didn't even know my real birthday. I'm thinking, come on, mate. <laughs> she tried to ring me yesterday. So within these last two days, I've had two feminines within the family try and get in contact with me. That's how I know things are shifting. They're all stressed, they're all worried. And one of them is a lawyer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Alchemist, we got ghosted, financial stability, silent moves, and we got be aware of an unexpected visitor. So someone may really just try and pull up on you. Someone may be trying to start some drama here with you. I don't want to give this person any mind. And if there's someone that ain't supposed to be around you, this could be someone that's threatened your life before. Call the popo. -po. Call the popo, -po, yo. All right, yeah. It's like someone just trying to get close enough to you to try and throw something here at you. And the reason why I ain't answered any of the calls is because I know people are trying to gaslight me over the phone. Spirit's just been telling me these last couple of months, don't be answering the phone to anyone. Because even my landlord tried to get me on the phone last month. And I know she was just trying to gaslight me because she ain't been doing things by the book and she knows she hasn't. But instead, she's just trying to put things onto me as if I have done something to her. This is, I'm telling you. I've grown up with too many narcissists and as empath, we keep attracting these type of people. Not deliberately. It's almost like narcissists are attracted to us. They're attracted to our light. And then they come to find out our light truly irritates their demons, so they want to do the worst to us. And when you detach from them, when you really start seeing them for who they truly are, then they want to start throwing a lot at you. They want to start smearing your name behind the scenes. If you're going to be doing something in the high priestess's energy, just know she is going to pick up on everything you're doing. He or she. So be careful who you're fucking playing with. Because too many of these individuals, they played games. And that's why karma is coming to really hit them in their ass. We've got lust here. People here lost and over you, alchemists. We've got documents. Some of these people out here lost and over you, they're freaking burning. With their sick self. I'm telling you. All right, we've got be humble here. If someone wants to come in, infect you because they want to humble you. Yeah. You got reunion. Be humble and be aware of this. Alright, one 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 trust your intuition. I'm telling you. You've got many individuals that have bad intentions here that are lurking. Seven 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 alchemist luck is on your side. You also have travel and you will overcome this. For someone who you may be traveling within this year, you may be going overseas to meet your family in some cases here, or you may just be traveling. Money hungry. Be aware of someone that's money hungry. Someone could be just trying to get into your energy because they need money. That's weird behavior, I'm not gonna lie. People don't even know what you be going through and they be asking you for money. <laughs> I swear, y'all. 
it's almost audacious sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm the type of person where if I got it, I'm gonna give it to you. I'll give it. I've always wanted to be that person that goes around the world just giving money to those who need it. This has been like a lifelong dream of mine since I was a child. I want to start foundations to help people. Yeah. Yeah, be aware. You definitely have a lot of money hungry people around you in your energy alchemist. That's why if you do anything here online, you've got people who've been watching you, keeping tabs on you, waiting to see if something's coming to you so they can try shit. Nothing's going to work for them. Explode the, ex, explode? Expose the plan of the enemies. There's been a lot of mumble jumbo in this energy. We've got new love on the horizon here, alchemist. Yeah. Yes, Alchemist, you do have new love on the horizon, but be aware. You got a lot of jealous motherfuckers, even people that wanted to be in your pants and couldn't be in your fucking pants are trying to block and stop shit because they, they are unhealed. They are unhealed. It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how much connections you have. Who you truly are at, at a court is going to be shown. Tell you. Because people will try and manipulate you to make it seem like they're nice, generous, and they just throw shit back in your face and, you know, and it's not on. It's not on. Uh, whoever I'm speaking to, you know exactly who you are. Because I know you've been coming here watching. You really need to... I, I strongly feel like you need to heal yourself, for real. And not pretend that you're healed. It doesn't matter if you go overseas and do sound baths and meditations on these spiritual retreats. It don't mean you're healed. Because who you are at core shows you're not healed. The way you move with people, the way you try and guilt trip people, the way you try and manipulate people, that's not a, a, the mind of a healed person. It's not. And I, as an empath, I mirror back how people are moving to me right back to them. And they hate it because they're not able to look at themselves. They're never able to look at themselves. Be aware, I'll commit you have someone who's money hungry in your energy, but I'm sure you already know because this person has exposed himself to you. All right, and you also have new love on the horizon, but I also feel like you need to be aware because you also have people here from your past that are going to try and come back into your energy here, acting as if they are your divine counterpart. Especially if these are people that have threatened your life, tried to harm you, were casting spells on you. <laughs> None of these motherfuckers are your divine counterpart, but for someone here in very small cases, there could be one person here from your past that is your divine counterpart. Maybe this person has gone through some form of spiritual awakening. You would, you'll know alchemists because you'll use your discernment. Not the motherfuckers that want to come in cloaking themselves, acting as if you're, they're your divine counterpart. Many of these individuals, they're money hungry. They want to fucking, they, they want to feed off your energy. Alright, birds of a feather flock together. Yeah, look at that. Spreading lies and gossiping. This would be your fake friends here. People from the past, whether they're ex-lovers or flings, friends with benefits. Just jealous motherfuckers who couldn't have their way. We've got home here, alchemist, okay, and cancer. You could be a cancer, this could be a cancer involved in this. Overwhelmed, success, and we've got low back. Balance will be restored here, alchemist. Someone here is in a lot of regret. I hope they should have made fucking better decisions. No fucking life. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> they should have made fucking better decisions in their life. We all have our free will. You all have our free will. When you don't heal, you become what hurts you. Many of these individuals out here, there's many people who have been sexually abused. Some people are actively healing from it, but other people have turned into predators. They've turned into abusers, whether they know it or not. I see right through it. Hmm. And I think it's pretty sad, to be fair with you. Anyway, let's get these last message from your spirit guides. Spirit animal guides, and we'll close this up. You've got raven, shaman, horse, freedom. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. But some of you, you're a past life shaman. Your gifts and abilities run very deep. You see things in your dreams. Things are revealed to you before they even happen. So all those people that want to gaslight you and try and manipulate you and try and make you think otherwise, they've been shown. I I'll be seeing people in my dreams doing the most weird and dumb shit and then, <laughs> yo, I'm telling you, people, they just, I think it's just their sheer ignorance. It is. Many of these people thought you were a joke, but some of you, if you are highly psychic and intuitive, many of these people didn't want to believe you were highly psychic and intuitive. Yeah. 
that the divine there's gonna be a time where the divine says show up and show out see yesterday that reading that i did that was my time to show up and show out because with these people that were speaking ill of my name doubting me she's not real she's fake oh she's not really tight reader she's not really this she's not really that it's fake projection because that's how they really feel about themselves yeah when i expose all that shit yesterday alchemist that's everything that i've been knowing everything that gets revealed to me so i would have to know all of that if i weren't what you motherfuckers were claiming i wasn't so now I, I told them, when you mind your business, alchemist, the business comes to you. I be minding my business. It's because motherfuckers out here be trying to mind my business too. That's why I know their business. Mm -hmm. I even made a song about it. When you mind your business, the business comes to you. When you mind your business, the business comes to you. Yeah. So stay the fuck out of my business, hoes. <laughs> you got horse and freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. This is beautiful energy, Alchemist. Shaman and freedom. This is just giving me the energy here of you are free. You're free to use your gifts and abilities. Use your gifts for good. Because I've seen many individuals, yes, tight readers, karmic tight readers. The Leo, you know who you are. You know who you are. Whether it's in your sun, moon, or flipping rising, you are a Leo. You ain't been using your gifts for good. You've been out here scrying into my life and sending monitoring spirits to my home, then going on your fucking platform, bashing me. And you've been doing this for over a year now, for whatever reason it was. I don't even know who this person is. Like, she, she's flipping in America, y'all. <laughs> like, come on. Over 100k subscribers and you're still jealous, you're still envious. It shows you're not content with what you have in your life. And you have not been using your gifts for good. And any of these tarot readers that have been abusing their gifts and their false authority here, believe me, you're going to be stripped. I already read the prophecy because I'm not just a tarot reader. Tarot is just the avenue that I use to get the messages out. I'm a prophetess. I prophesize things. I prophesize truth. Because I speak my truth. In whichever way it comes out, it's going to trigger many people. Many people ain't going to be happy to hear who they really are. If you know who you really are and you're not doing the inner work to change that, I don't know what I don't know what the fuck you want me to tell you. Stop being that person. Stop doing those type of things. Stop abusing your power and authority. If you don't like someone, stop watching them. They know they don't like me, yet they still come on my channel watching me, throwing dark energy at me, trying to have me stumble and jumble over my flipping words. It don't matter. I'm used to it now. Many of these people have been studying me. So anytime I say, oh, my overthinker, oh, she's an overthinker, let's, let's send a tax to her so she can be in her head. Anytime I say I'm um, self-conscious, oh yeah, she's self-conscious, let's, let's do stuff so she can doubt herself. Like, you motherfuckers be studying me and then try and manipulate everything that I say to try and throw back at me. It don't work because all you're doing is making me face myself, which I actively have been doing. I'm overcoming perfectionism. I don't have to be perfect. I'm not even here to be perfect. But because I grew up with so many people, just, what's the word? I can't even think of the word now. Judging every move that I made or trying to put me down for anything that I did. That's what made me feel very self-conscious growing up. Before, when I was young, I used to be very confident. But all of a sudden, I just randomly became shy. This was projected energy. I had to break out of it. So everything you think you're doing to me, you're only bettering me. And the most important thing here, let me tell you now. All you people that have been coming after me here online, you've just shown me what not to become. You've shown me that when God elevates me to a certain position, do not become like these people that try to put you down. Don't use your gifts of bad. Don't be harming people. You, you people know who the fuck you are. You know exactly who you are. I ain't even got to call your name out because you know who you are because you're going to be coming here to watch the reading anyway. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Alchemist, you are free. Whatever binding contract these individuals here, whether they're people in your family, People from your past, fake friends that were trying to put over your life here. Whatever they were trying to block and stop, they can't block and stop what the divine has for you. The purpose the divine has for you. The mission the divine has for you. They can't stop nothing. They really just think that they can because they're now living in their own illusions. Many of these people are actively being stopped anyway. Many of these individuals are actively being blocked anyway. Okay. So I can miss, I'm going to leave the message there. I hope this message brought some form of truth and clarity to you and your situation. Guys, I'm so proud of you. Honestly. It's going to be an amazing year. I'm telling you now. The underdogs are on top. 
we've gone through our season of struggles, we've gone through our season of losses. Many of us have really had to be patient for what is coming to us now, for what the divine is doing in our life because we truly walked by faith and not by sight. When many, many people around you lost hope and wanted to sell themselves up, mm -hmm. you didn't follow suit. You were not that crab in the bucket. Because you kicked that motherfucking bucket. Now the crabs are there scattering. They're all scattering. <laughs> really, yo. You are not the crab in the bucket. No. You are the whole ocean and more. You are the skies, the sea, and the galaxy. You are the stars that are afar and near and wide. You are everything that you were always destined to be. Do not forget that. Okay? I'm going to leave the message there, Alchemist. See, I'm in a calm state now. <laughs> I had to get that. I had to get that energy out the other day. I was telling you, I had to get it out. You know, you've just been holding so much in. Like, it is, it's true, like, I'm telling you, my ancestors were speaking through me. When I was shouting, how dare you? That was my ancestors. Because it's like, how stupid dare you do this to my descendant? Who, who do you fucking idiots think you are? You people don't know your place here on this realm, so I'm going to show you your place here on this realm. Yeah, and I'm going to use my descendant to do it. I'm telling you, Alchemist. I'm telling you. Whew. You have a greater mission. You have a greater purpose here on this realm. Do, let, do not let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay? Alright, Alchemist. I'm going to leave the message there for all this time. Hope you guys have a blessed and fantastic day. Peace, love, and light to you all.